Yeah. Mike, Charlie Weiss was not a surprise. Bobby Bowden and the way he's being let go at Florida State surprises me a little bit. Bowden's gone after tons of years at Florida State, had a successful career at West Virginia as well. But, uh, you know, I think maybe it was time for Bobby Bowden to go. I think maybe he lost a little bit of control of the program. Yeah, I agree. There was a game when they played the Orange Bowl against Penn State where he had to send players home and there was discipline problems. There's been some academic situations. I think he lost a little bit more control, even though I think part of what he did in his success the last couple of years was giving up control to his assistants. I think he t- turned a blind eye a little bit too much. Well, um, maybe he did. I, I, I don't know. It, but it, it is interesting because... Uh, you know, there's always going to be parallels between Bowden and Penn, and, and Penn State with Joe Pa, so sure. because they both are uh, have been around so long and are, are were in this death match for the for the career wins record, which is itself a misnomer, but that's another story. But um, everybody says you got to have a succession plan. Remember, we were hearing that all the time oh, a couple yeah. of years ago. You got to sure. have a succession plan. You got to, you know, Joe Pa should Joe Pa should name his successor now, and we can have a smooth transition, and he can go out on his own terms. And, and the way Bobby Bowden did with Jimbo Fisher, well, that doesn't seem Jimbo. to know. Other than the fact that the guy's named Jimbo, which is wonderful, I'm not sure how well that worked. Uh, I think it hurt their recruiting a little bit. I think the just the un- uncertainty about the top of the programs uh, just seemed. Kind of weird, and, and 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 again, cost them some players maybe, and and um, you know maybe Joe Pa was right when he kind of scoffed at the idea that you got to have a succession plan. It's interesting when you look back on this because, um, yeah, the succession plan it wasn't a, the, the right idea. I think he became Bobby Allen became the lame duck coach, you know, because of this lame yeah, duck in a little you know, in a weird way he did in a I weird think that's way. Right. Yeah, uh, and there was a buyout at the end of next year that if they kept him he was, he was going to be gone next year no matter what and. The ultimatum he was given this year was you can come back, but basically you're going to start letting Jimbo coach the team now, and you're going to just be sort of there to smooth the alumni. And that's the mistake just, to me. Yeah, that's the mistake to me that the Florida State administration made. Maybe you tell Bobby Bowden that, but you tell him that in a very low-profile, quiet, private way. You, 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 don't, you don't announce it because then... I mean, it's it's almost like super lame duck. It's beyond lame duck. You know the situation that he would have been in next year, and I think I think it's understandable that that was not acceptable to him. Some of the national media has actually said Florida State should have followed what Penn State and Joe Paterno have done. Can you believe that? Wow, go <laughs> what, figure. Because they don't really have a plan there. Although I do think Joe did copy Bobby in some ways and release some of his control more to his assistants, and you see him being more of the administrator on the sideline, more the, the guy that will grab a hold of Clark and just talk to him individually, but he's not grabbing the headset as much There's as no he There's no question to. that he's done that, and I, I think the reason why it's worked better at Penn State is better assistance. I just think he has a really good staff.